just as I suspect it would be the case, they're talking about that thing on Inside Edition, and I want to make it perfectly clear to all of my viewers, I believe the little girl, all right? They're trying to say she's seven years old. I read another thing. She doesn't look seven. She's not seven. She's 11. She speaks perfect English. She's saying that they said to the flight attendant, he won't be able to breathe. It's a dog, etc. You still have to put him in the bin, okay? But United is going to choose. I mean, it's easy to lie after the fact. You understand? You can do anything and lie, and your employer, if it's United, is going to believe you automatically. She says she didn't know. Uh-huh. All right. Jane Luno, June Luno, whatever, the person who wrote on Facebook is backing up these people that the flight attendant damn well did know and forced these people to put their dog in the bin. I believe the little girl. People are writing, eh, eh, eh. No, she's been coached, whatever. She's seven years old. Why are we going to believe a seven-year-old? She's 11. She's 11. They said, it's a dog. It's a dog. Okay? Now United has come up with this thing to make sure this doesn't happen again. We're going to put little tags on the thing. It should have never happened in the fucking first place, okay? It should have never happened in the first place. Was the flight attendant so out of it she just wasn't listening to these people? The mother can't speak English or the little girl is saying it's a dog, it's a dog, you won't be able to breathe and you're going to just ignore him, blah, blah, blah. you got to put him up there. My whole thing is that I wrote in comments too, if the little, the dog is 10 months old, the little tiny French bulldog puppy, okay? The carrier was TSA compliant, it couldn't have been that big. If it was supposedly blocking the aisle, why couldn't it be put under a seat that wasn't an aisle seat? Okay? When I flew Omar in 2012, I was in an airplane compliant thing, and I, if I recall correctly, I had him in an airplane compliant thing that I called ahead of time. These are the dimensions. Oh, yeah, that's fine, whatever. But then you get on a plane that, and I'm like, you know, this isn't fitting all the way under there. And they're like, don't worry about it. This is a smaller plane, and they're not going to give me a hard time because it's not my fault that I, it totally is the dimensions. It was an actual Delta thing. I don't know if I flew Delta, but it didn't matter. It's a Delta carrier, and it's the exact dimensions that this, whatever airline I was flying with on, be it Delta or something else, okay? But if I remember correctly, it wasn't JetBlue. JetBlue has tons of leg room, as I wrote in a comment. You don't have to worry about JetBlue. These other ones, they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Less and less leg room, okay? So they have these dimensions that might, and might be, and I'll, I'll have a flight attendant. I remember, I remember saying, well, that's for our bigger plane, okay? It's just like sometimes your overhead things are fine, but they don't fit in the overhead compartment because it's a lot smaller. Because it's a smaller plane, it's not anybody's fault. You know, I can't remember if that happened in another flight with my luggage not fitting in the overhead bin, even though it was the right dimensions, because the overhead bin was way too small, or, I, or it was when I flew with Omar that one time, but whatever. I remember this airplane compliant, dimensions compliant carrier not fitting completely under the seat, and nobody gave me a fucking hard time about it, okay? It's so easy for this flight attendant to just feign, oh, well, probably because the little girl was saying something, she's going to ignore the little girl and can't understand the mom. Or it really is what people are saying that, you know, and what's on Inside Edition is that it's a federal law. You are breaking a federal law if you disobey a fucking flight attendant. What if a fucking flight attendant is just completely asking you, I would have got arrested, like I was saying to my Omar. No one's going to put you in an overhead bin, Omar. No one's going to put you in an overhead bin ever. I'll get fucking arrested before I'd ever let... No, they're saying what I wrote on comments last night and never heard them speak till now on this part. They thought they had no choice. They believed they had no choice. The little girl is saying, do you really think that they weren't telling this people it's a dog, it's a dog. I think the flight attendant's full of shit, United is full of shit, they're siding with the flight attendant, it's so convenient to say, oh, I didn't know it was a dog. Fuck you. Fuck United. Boycott them. I don't believe her for a second. Maybe if there were no other witnesses, but that person took the time to write on Facebook a whole long thing of what happened, okay? These flight attendants insisted they put their little dog in the overhead bin. I believe them over a flight attendant trying to save her sorry fucking ass.
so convenient. I hope they sue the shit out of United. I hope they sue the fucking shit out of United just offering, oh, we're going to return the price of your fare. I'm sure for, for both of them. And, and find the next, no, you are going to get your fucking asses sued. I can guarantee it. And I hope you do. I hope you do. I'm sickened. I'm sickened by the deceitful fucking flight attendant who gets away with saying, I, mean, eh, I didn't know it was a dog. I believe the people saying she damn well knew it was a fucking dog and didn't fucking care. Period. I don't believe her for one second. I believe this family who are saying she's lying. I believe them. I do. I believe them over that fucking flight attendant. I do. I 100% do. I wish more people had come forward. I wish more people had come forward. And that's just that one person. I wish more people would come forward who were on that flight and know what happened. There have to have been other flight attendants aware of something. There had to have been more people aware. Maybe not. We still don't even know. Did it happen mid-flight? There's so many mis misinformation about this, including the, the, the fact that they're saying that the little girl was seven. The person on the Facebook page wrote she couldn't have been more than eight. She's 11. She looks 11. She doesn't look like a little seven-year-old. And she speaks perfect English. And she's insisting that the flight attendant's lying, and I believe her. People are saying, oh, she's seven years old, and she was coached. Yeah. Yeah, these are the people who can't stand that any dogs are allowed on planes, so they're going to automatically side with this flight attendant. So this is on Inside Edition today, which is March 15th. I'm going to put it on closed caption. Okay, outrage continues. Outrage continues over the dog that died after a flight attendant told a passenger she had to stow her French bulldog in an overhead bin. The dog's owner said she felt like she had no choice. That has many wondering what rights do they have if they feel like a flight attendant is going too far. I've heard lately the flight attendants have gone too far at times, and it's a federal law to disobey a flight attendant, but as I repeatedly wrote in comments, and other people wrote as well, I would have been arrested before I had put my Omar in the overhead bin in a million fucking years. And they're saying, and the person on Facebook is saying, they were assured the dog would be safe. I believe this family. I 100% believe the family. I do not believe the, the flight attendant as far as I can throw her. I do not believe that she did not know there was a dog in that bag. By the flight attendant who told them their dog, Coquito, had to go into an overhead bin. I believe this family. I do. I do. Maybe I, I wouldn't so much if, if both the mother and little girl didn't speak English. If the little girl, who's not seven, she's 11, wasn't insisting the flight attendant is lying. The dog's owner said she felt like she had no choice. That has many wondering what rights do they have if they feel like a flight attendant is going too far. Was this family intimidated by the flight attendant who told them their dog, Kukito, had to go in the into an overhead bin. They told us they felt they had no choice but to comply. That's what I wrote in comments last night under Fox, the article, under Fox. I thought that she was afraid because people were saying, well, I wouldn't have done it. It's her fault, too. No, she felt like she had no choice but to comply. She would be breaking the law. She, some wrote also, if she makes a ruckus on a plane and breaks federal law, she could have Child Protective Service taking her kids away. It's all sick. This is what the little girl's saying. I believe her. I believe her. She is not seven. Okay? She's fucking 11 years old. My mom said to her, how are you going to put a dog there? He won't breathe. And she said that you still have to put him up there. 
This is what they're saying. I believe them. We trusted her. The other, they're also saying that she said he'll be fine. He'll be fine like the flight attendant's fucking omniscient. As we all now know, that was the wrong thing to do. But what should the family have have done? And they're 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 not they don't even speak you know what I mean? They're not gonna know to disobey the flight attendant like I would do without even thinking twice. In fact if I was nearby I would have said something and probably got myself arrested on their behalf, on the behalf of the little dog. Especially since I know those kind of dogs have breathing problems. And then some asshole is on the comments saying that you don't, um, that those kind of dogs are banned on United. And I said, why don't we solve this once for all? Someone call up United because I'm getting sick of this shit with this oopsa guy constantly saying something and other people saying that's not true. It's only banned in the cargo, which I know it's banned in the cargo. Dogs like pugs and French bulldogs and all that because of their, um, their noses. They're, they're, they're short, short nose breed. They are forbidden to ride in cargo. They have to either ride in cabin and you pay the $100, $200 one way fee, or they don't ride at all on the plane. They didn't know any better what this guy is saying. Who is he? Oh, it's editor for CBS. Editor for CBS is saying they didn't know what their rights were. They didn't know any better. Most people don't. Flight attendants have a lot of power, especially in these days. This, um, then that person was kicked off the plane for being upset about a person there with a baby, that senator or something, wherever she was. Especially in these days of heightened security. Yeah, they do. They got scared of me on a plane before because I was not used to flying and I was hearing music and you're not supposed to have, I didn't know what I was hearing because I thought you're not supposed to be hearing anything and I thought someone had their MP3 player on and I stood up when you weren't supposed to and they were like, you're lucky that we didn't, you know, this was heightened security. They're lucky, you're lucky we didn't do something to you, they said to me. You can't stand up. At when we told you not to, because I came forward, I stand up and stood up and came forward, but I was just trying to help, I didn't know, but it could have been bad, I could have been tackled, anything, and it was just innocent. I was being paranoid, because it says don't have any electronic devices, and I was hearing stuff. It wasn't in my head either, but I forget what the, the situation was, but... The senator from New York was tossed off a plane last year when he reportedly became argumentative after a seven-hour delay. Um, and he, he was an older guy. He said, they're throwing me off the plane because I complained about what they were doing. A lot of times these places, like, remember that airport? These weren't flight attendants, but they were, they were airline employees actually ripping people's phones from their hands and deleting um, because they were filming and later the airline says that was not proper policy you have every right to film and if you in our air, air yeah so why don't you fire everybody who ripped the people's phones from their hands and said you delete that right now you stop filming because they don't want to be filmed when things are going bad this wasn't on an airplane remember it was on in an airline terminal i was pissed off at that they think they're just gods i don't believe this flight attendant sorry I do not. See, if you disobey a flight attendant, you're in violation of a federal law. Our expert says you can, you can speak up, but don't be combative. Hey, you did that to me, and I'll knock you. Oh, this is something else. Someone said, you did to me, I'll knock you flat. He was arguing with the flight attendant. This situation escalated when a passenger confronted a flight attendant who he believed was being rude to another passenger with a baby. See, this was a passenger who stood up against the flight attendant. He got in serious trouble. He felt the flight attendant was being rude to another flight attendant who had a baby.